Hi everyone, in this video, I would like to talk about the most important skills that we need to have in order to be successful as Citrix administrator. So let's say you are attending an interview and the day before the interview, what we usually do is we would like to find out like uh, what are the skills that this company is looking for? It could be Citrix and apps and desktop, Netscaler, provisioning services, or whatever it is. And we like to study all the interview topics, or we would like to practice, or we would like to go through the blogs or articles and be well prepared before the interview. Or you would like to share the previous experience or current experience about Citrix. But the thing is, during the time of the interview, interviewers not only consider technical skills but interviewers would also like to consider soft skills so what exactly is soft skills soft skills is something like are you a good listener uh, can you communicate with the clients properly because at the end of the day once you get selected you're going to work in a team so you, you're going to communicate with the team members Okay, so are you a good communicator? Are you, can you write good emails or let's say there is a requirement to install Citrix, uh, some application on Citrix servers. Now you're working as a Citrix level two admin and all of a sudden you got a requirement or you got a request or you got an email saying that, okay, we need to install this particular application on so-and-so service. I need to talk to somebody from Citrix level two team. So when we get these kind of requests you have to attend the meetings you need to get on call with the application owner or you need to talk to the uh, clients to understand the requirement okay so in order to install this application before you install this application on the service first of all you need to understand the requirement okay you need to find out like on how many servers you need to install and are there any prerequisites or many other things how many users would be connecting to this particular server how many uh, you know how many licenses are required or whatever it is so so you need to ask all these questions during the initial meeting with the application owner so in order to ask these questions first of all we need to be very good with the soft skills otherwise if we cannot ask good if we cannot ask questions then we will not understand the requirement if we do not understand the requirement then we will not install it on the servers so what i'm trying to say is during the time of the interview interviewers would like to consider technical skills as well as soft skills because when you work in the organization you are you're going to communicate with hundreds of people a lot of people okay you're going to send email to a lot of people you, you're going to attend calls you, you're going to talk to on-site people you're going to uh, uh, make critical decisions you're going to talk to different people so these are some things that uh, interviewers would like to check so during the time of the interview like let's say you are very very good with uh, technical skills and let's say you have like you get nine out of ten and if your soft skills are like, uh, you know, uh, not so great, uh, then it is fine. But some interviewers would like to, you know, uh, have, would like to uh, expect people that have at least uh, good communication skills. Like if you, if you score at least like six or seven out of 10 and your technical skills are really good, like eight or nine, then uh, interviewers would be more than happy to hire you. But if you're communication skills are really good like eight and your technical skills are also really good then you will be you know uh, you'll be the first person to get selected so so yeah these are some things that are really required these days because you know uh, everybody is working uh, remotely and you have to be really communicative over the phone or over online platforms and so these things play a major role so interviewers would like to know and would like to check and during the time of the interview they have this criteria whether this person is good with technical skills or not okay eight out of ten and whether this person is good with uh, communication skills or not okay seven out of ten so 50 percent they gave importance to technical skills and 50 percent they gave importance to communication skills or soft skills but they would not say they would not say they have this on the paper they would uh, make a note of it so yes uh, so what i'm trying to say is like uh, 
um, during the time of the interview if you are very very good with technical skills it is good but uh, if uh, you know if you think that your soft skills are not up to mark then you can you can practice you can read some books or uh, or what you can do is during the time of the interview just try to be a little bit enthusiastic and try to be more passionate about the product or the subject and uh, just give them an impression that uh, you know you can be part of the culture it's not only about technical skills you know they think that uh, before they hire us they think that okay whether this person is really suitable for our organization or not can this person be uh, part of our culture or not can this person be part of a team or not like can can this person communicate well within a team members or not so these are some these are some things that they check and they would like to know so yes i just want to uh, you know uh, give uh, some details about this topic today uh, i hope you find this information helpful thank you for watching i'll catch you in the next video bye bye